The South Florida Museum admits the death of Snooty the manatee was a preventable accident. Proper protocols simply were not followed. News Channel H John Rogers joins us now live from the South Florida Museum. And John, I'm wondering, do we know if anybody has been fired because of this? Good evening, Jen. I asked that question to museum officials. They would not say. However, we have been able to confirm that following Snooty's death, the director of the aquarium no longer works here. Snooty, the world's oldest living manatee in captivity, died alone, trapped in an underwater compartment after a panel came loose. Following his death on July 23rd, the museum enlisted the help of an animal welfare attorney to conduct an investigation. It was discovered a week prior to the incident. The staff was aware the panel was loose, but nothing was done about it. Due to breakdowns in record keeping, communication, follow through, and reporting, some action was taken, but no action culminated in actual repair. On behalf of the museum, I apologize. Officials also admit in the immediate aftermath, they shared wrong information with the public. In response, the museum has updated protocols and has made staffing changes. News Channel 8 confirmed the director of living collections, Marilyn Margold, no longer works at the museum. We will not stop fighting until Snooty gets the justice he deserves. Denise Anderson with Justice for Snooty doesn't feel enough has been done. The captain goes down with the ship. You know, the CEO, she's in charge of the museum. She needs to be fired. The COO, he got on TV and lied. He needs to be fired. The museum is working with federal agencies to help improve their policies, and they're also bringing in an engineer to review the aquarium tank. We're, we're going to embrace a culture of going beyond compliance. The museum plans to hold a special uh, open house memorial for the public on Sunday, September 10th, 10th, to give people in the public a chance to come here and honor Snooty. But that Justice for Snooty group will also be holding a protest here that day as well. Back to you, Jen. John, what about Snooty's remains? Do we know what happens there? Uh, Snooty has gone through a necropsy over the past few weeks, which would allow scientists to learn more about the species and about its longevity. But I am told that the skeletal remains will be brought back here to the museum. It's unclear at this time what will be done with those remains, Jen. John Rogers live in Bradenton for us tonight. Thank you.